<laughs> you can take them anywhere, but they always go back to A. Well, then how do they deliver post then? I don't get like, it. They only take it back to A. <laughs> That's fucking stupid then. You can't that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, you're gonna make the pigeon read the fucking envelope. What's wrong with you, cuz? <laughs> Say who the guest is when we have a fucking guest. No, oh, yeah. I no, knew this no, before. It no, matter. did you see the comment on the Zinger <laughs> oh, podcast no, on YouTube? So I wrote, What's going on? Is there a fourth person in the room? <laughs> like, they don't know what's going on. We need yeah, to no, say that shit. We oh, yeah. We didn't introduce him. It's I too, felt it's like true. that when I listened to it, but then yeah. I read that comment. I laughed, man. I feel like, like is there a fourth person? Who's <laughs> talking? Who's talking it's, over here? It's the shadows. I feel like it doesn't have to be at the beginning, but yeah. I know because it's a nobody, it's hard mentioned. to introduce yeah, them. Like, what would you say? Like, Here's Zinger. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what'd you say about a motherfucker like that? Yeah. But uh, we, we do need to say something. I put his name in the title and in the description. Nobody knows that's a name. Who knows? I know, it? but it's Zinger? in the description. Like, nobody the, reads that. Well, that's their problem. Why is that? What's your favorite phrase? It sounds like a you problem. That's, yeah, that's this is my, my favorite opinion. phrase. As far as I'm concerned, like I give all the information. All you have to do is literally just click <laughs> once more. Like that's all it takes. <laughs> just click, uh, read more or whatever the fuck. Oh man, I like to think that person. I'm upset already. We fucking <laughs> barely started. I'm already upset <laughs> because <laughs> people fucking not doing shit. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I like to imagine that person listened right to the end, still not sure whether there was a fourth person or not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Is it just the voices in my head? <laughs> no, I mean, to me, it's pretty obvious, but yeah, I, 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 get, I get it. Better. How was the infidel holiday for you? Well, it's, it's refreshing. It's refreshing to walk into a culture yeah. and still after four or five years of integrating in it, mm -hmm wonder that there is still unlocked secrets wait i'm confused what are we talking about now christmas so, christmas oh okay yeah, yeah 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 christmas okay so you did celebrate with somebody's uh, family or yeah, yeah. yeah polish family mm -hmm. so i've been to their place um and they live in like uh Sosnowice right. or benji boundary boundary um so i've been yeah. yeah i've been there and no. I was sleeping in the middle of the night and like 4 a.m. I couldn't sleep, yeah. right? And I'm trying to close my eyes and just focus on nothing. Just try to just try to sleep. And all of a sudden, all I hear is just this fucking war siren. Meow. You know how war yeah, sirens yeah. be. <laughs> and I'm like, what in the fuck? fuck right. are the russians back <laughs> is the germans here germany here motherfucker i don't yeah. even i didn't even complete they waited my... till christmas is like I... let's do it now eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice surprise for uh, the polacks <laughs> i didn't even complete Polish. my duolingo course in german <laughs> <laughs> these motherfuckers are invading again yeah. and i just I, I walked into the uh, the next person's room like hey there's a war siren um is this normal they're like yeah this is completely normal it uh -huh. just um this happens i'm like well like what happens yeah. for what like what's the, the reason the for raider that? detected santa <laughs> 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 like what the fuck and they're like yeah. yeah this is actually for the mole rats to scare the mole rats what? yeah mole what yeah yeah do you know these creatures from thumbelina yeah, I know what a mole is. Yeah, but but of all the references, I was yeah, I wasn't right. questioning the existence of moles. I was questioning the practice of the siren. Yeah, I what? don't know. It's just because it scares them. Is that proven? That sounds. So I mean, ridiculous. I I've didn't. Never I, heard of that. I didn't. I don't have mole rat friends. Okay. <laughs> Did yeah. they do a study with some moles and they just played all the possible? <laughs> Britney Spears toxic. <laughs> no, not scared. <laughs> Air raid siren. <laughs> Put the ice cream. Ice cream siren. <laughs> oh no, they're now together. <laughs> it united them. <laughs> oh, and also, like, how often do, do, do they do that? Like, yeah. like they come back, don't they? Like, twice a week? Twice a like, week, imagine. they to get and them in check. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's how often you'd probably need to do it, right? But I've yeah. never fucking heard of that. 
And no they wonder were... they make fun of Sosnovitz. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sosnovitz the is the butt of a lot of jokes, but oh, like... No, yeah. Man, and they are old people there. Yeah. Like there was a grandmother who well, lived... That explains a lot. ...who lived think. through World War II. I'm sure. like, so you're sacrificing the farm... For her getting like PTSD of yeah, the yeah. fucking war, dude. Like, <laughs> imagine her at 4 a.m. just waking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I guess she's probably used to it by now. <laughs> or she just has flashbacks twice, twice a, a week. week. Yeah. Well, at least the mole rats are gone. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of this. I have to fact check this. This is too yeah, crazy for I me. But you okay. Keep them in check. Because mole rats are Czechoslovakian. Oh, <laughs> <Are they? laughs> yeah. that's an inside joke. You don't even get it. Yeah, you don't want you don't want them uh, invading our sp- yeah some kind of s- Soviet spies. Pests. That's wild. I've I mean they they run the sirens for a lot of reasons. Like there's like a national war holiday or something. Yeah, I like get that, that but for a minute. Okay, so if they yeah, don't run these, what do the mole rats do? I know. If I, there's no air siren. Just, if there was no air siren, what are the mole rats liable to do? They start a revolution. What are they and to do? They take, <laughs> they'll bring down the the government. Yeah, they take over city hall. They start a, <laughs> <laughs> the, the mole rat. Be, a mole rat becomes mayor and starts ordering everybody around. What do mole rats sounds like? <laughs> they start rearranging the fucking bus routes and shit. <laughs> We need more tunnels. We need more tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, curva! More rats are back. <laughs> are they German? <laughs> the Czechoslovakian? No, they're Czechoslovakian know. because there was this um, the yeah. cartoon we had, Karachi, yeah. yeah. little yeah. mole rat. He was Czechoslovakian. He was oh. Czechoslovakian, right, I think. <laughs> it was. It would say ayo. Yeah, yeah. Ayo. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds threatening. That's a very he threatening. He was, yeah, he was not threatening. He was cute. In fact, there, it, the problem was not addressed at all. He was like, <laughs> he never said. It was like, oh, you guys are genociding my people. He, said, <laughs> he never was. Yeah, there was no episodes about the air siren. Yeah. No. <laughs> or I think that would be like not afraid of the sirens, but because they lived through this is called generational trauma. Um, so yeah. they had it from the World War II. And maybe they were afraid of the Germans or the Russians. Oh, you think, yeah. Who've been at Sosnovi. So the siren actually reminds them of war of, as well. Of the of the bad days, mm-hmm. of the dark the, the dark days <laughs> during World War Two. Yeah, apparently, apparently Russians and Germans didn't only kill uh, Polish people and Germ and uh, Jews, but also mole rats. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean that gas. I guess is a uh, very universal for. I could see why why the uh, yeah that's the, I still think that's kind of crazy though yeah um, twice a week how many are there no yeah. you can never you can never trust <laughs> these mole rats they'll, they'll bring the whole families over and stuff yeah yeah once you let one in <laughs> <laughs> fuck up that's the economy how it starts yeah they start taking our jobs <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're charging our benefits <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, how was how was your your Christmas. Uh, it was good. I mean, it was like I spent some time with with uh, my mom and her partner, and that's you know predictably fairly boring. I would say like well, nothing special. It's like okay. there's not too many uh, crazy conversations we have in that uh, you know group, and and like also if there if there's anything that's sort of like politics, somebody says something about politics, I've li- I've mastered. I'm a Zen master now. I just don't say anything. You because, just wait for them to die. Because if I start uh, <laughs> discussing anything, it's gonna esc- it's gonna be bad. It's just gonna escalate. And somebody says something about like, oh, the Jews have all the money, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, of just course remain they do. silent. Of course they do. I mean, it's not it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. But you know, there's a lot. There's definitely some yep. basic things we probably would disagree on. So. My mom's very, my mom's very actually centrist. I was, she's like always like, well, I don't know, you know, she's like, so it's easy to convince her as well, but um, yeah, I just don't want to get into it. I'm way, I'm way past trying to convince certain people about things, especially someone older who's lived, you know, through the mole rat invasion. <laughs> and <they> have, <laughs> no, but like, but you know, but like trying to convince somebody who remembers like, 
actual mm. communism and political prisoners and yeah. stuff or like their their parents being in a in a fucking camp or something you know trying to say to talk about like any sort of socialist uh, p uh, politics or like left-leaning things as a good thing it's like i'm not gonna try i'm not gonna try to have that discussion <laughs> do you think it's harder to convince old people about um uh, racism like certain parts in, in racism that you need to um yeah. you know raise their awareness or is it harder for a teenager to raise their awareness i don't know i think i think it's tougher with older people but to be honest i think a lot it's the same uh, it's sort of on the same level for a lot of people it's not maybe not necessarily racism but just like certain views that they've never that they have never questioned you know like their whole life nobody's uh, <laughs> nobody's like talked to them in a different way or no way they've never met a fucking black person or whatever it is yeah uh i think teenagers are really easy to influence whereas older people is because if somebody's old and you start challenging their shit that they've like believed their whole life that's kind of cr crazy for them that must be wild for them right i mean like my whole life I yeah it's like <laughs> i was convinced i acted upon you know it's like i think it's sort of almost subconscious like I was a bad person my yeah, entire yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. You yeah. can't reason somebody out of a belief they didn't reason themselves into. Whoa. Bang! Big quotes! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> is that, is what? That? What? <laughs> quote. That, yeah, that's that, a quote. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah, Yeah, that would make sense. Man, it's, it's really hard to um, argue with toddlers. <laughs> 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 that's that's hell of a ride. Yeah, just argue with toddlers, high as fuck. There's a. What do you guys think? There's because there's always that discussion of of like uh, Nazi stuff or like oh, neo no. na neo Nazi bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is this it? is gonna be quick. Don't worry. Okay. The, like, is it? Uh, the question is, uh, even if you're like making fun of it and say like sharing a clip of some guy saying some you know uh, anti Semitic bullshit or whatever. Yeah. Uh, is it? Does it matter the context or any kind of sharing of that content is bad? Because like from my experience, my view is what I've heard also is it's those people that are like susceptible to that. They don't they don't pick up on a nuance or whatever. You know, what I mean, it's like if somebody's liable to believe in that, mm. shit, it doesn't matter how you present it. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No opinions on that. All right, I'm just gonna fucking cut that and let's move on. To we something are taking funnier. your your <laughs> we're taking your technique about someone who talks about politics. We're like, mm -hmm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay, yes, okay. that's right. Mm, yeah. mm, let's okay. wait for Gavo to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just posed the question. Right. What is the question? Well, the question is I took like my head off now, so maybe oh I'll no. Understand. <laughs> Now you can understand. Or I guess that maybe the thesis is that it's always bad to share, to like, to give Nazis a platform or whatever. You know, right. even even if it's going to be a situation where somebody, like you said, like tries to, uh, you know, debate them or like, what uh, do you want to debate Nazis? For? Yeah, but disprove the things they say because they use pseudoscience and all this shit, and it's really easy to disprove. But the thing is, like, do people who believe that shit even care? Is that, that's kind of the question, I guess. Is like, yeah, truth is irrelevant. Yeah, okay. I think they do. I, I mostly agree. I yeah. think they do. They do very much. They care about it. Yeah. But we can't control stuff Yeah. to a certain extent. Like, we can't just do what the Nazis did, what they tried to do with the Jews. They tried to erase the entire race yeah not only race but like religion and we can't do it you're saying you, you wish you could <laughs> no 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 that's not I what i am saying I you're know, having I a know. very hard time sounding smart today it's, it's, it's much harder for you than usual i've noticed no no, no, no go wait, ahead let hold me, on. yeah finish please so what i was saying okay <laughs> we should not kill jews yes i i think we all agree time, on that yeah. We should not do what the Nazis tried to do to Jews. <laughs> so, what? we okay, this so, is so you're isn't saying, that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> so in a way, so you're if saying, we silence them or we cut yeah, yeah. them. We anything. Okay, so you're arguing free freedom of speech no no exactly. matter what. No, you're a fucking no moron. What. Yeah. Why? Look up the paradox of tolerance. Okay, what okay. does it say? The, the paradox of tolerance is by tolerating intolerance. You basically destroy tolerance 
there will be no more tolerance. So, like the war in terrorists? No. The war in terrorism because no, it's like, like an oxymoron. No, it's just, it's, if you're no. If, okay, like so. If you're letting a Nazi, Hitler, yeah. yeah. Debating Hitler was a thing. Like it was seen as a Hitler was seen as a legitimate political like point on the spectrum, right? Okay, yeah. At one point, they right. They were tolerant of his intolerant views, and step by step, he removed every single piece of opposition. Yeah. Until there was no more tolerance. There was only his views. Yeah. But what I think he did was exploit uh, an already fucked up like um, morale for the people. They, he exploited their um, enthusiasm or their, um, or their dream dis- for dislike becoming of great again. <laughs> like yeah, after but, the World but, War One, So he exploited it. Right. So he just lied and they were like, yeah, he's just, he do be like that. What? And they just went with it. That's what happened. So it's not about sort of yeah. tolerating the intolerance. I feel like the point where you have to yeah, cut but it keeps moving and moving and moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> so, what? Okay, okay. Here's the thing. If you do not, if okay, if you do not pull up the siren on fucking mole rats, <laughs> eventually they're gonna take your jobs. Yeah. But maybe. <laughs> If they took your jobs, it wasn't a worthy job in the first place. You get what I'm okay, saying? Okay, now you've, com- now you've, complete- <laughs> you now you've saying, completely what? lost it. Sometimes you gotta let the monkeys outside the cage, Dave. You gotta listen to me. <laughs> All right. All right, let's just move on because I'm so lost. Jeez. All right. Oh. Yeah, let's move on. I watched the. Uh, I still haven't. F- I still haven't finished it. But have you guys seen Minor- Minority Report with? With, it's like a movie from the late 90s, I yeah, guess, with Tom Cruise. where he prevents crimes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's about pre-crime, which I guess is yeah. sort of <laughs> partly what we're talking about. It's like, yeah, there's a whole division based on them predicting, uh, using these like people that have special powers or whatever, like psychic, telekinetic, whatever. But But the point is like they see crimes before they're committed. So they basically arrest people before they committed a, bu- a murder or something, something and like they that. do it by arresting every black person <laughs> <laughs> no hence the no. minority no report. the first <laughs> yeah that's what i was yeah was, laughs in white that would, <laughs> that would have been funny if yeah. it was just like yeah if they took it literally and it was just like a a korean guy living on Cre- uh, with a store on crenshaw he's like they keep coming in here <laughs> Oh, I have to be careful. They are stealing. <laughs> they are stealing. <laughs> it's just it's just a movie about his racist views, <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's two and a half hours of him thinking. Ah, I don't really like black people. <laughs> <laughs> minority Report. Everything he thinks about minority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just his internal monologue for just two and a half hours. <laughs> ends up with an Asian man sneezing. <laughs> Arrest him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 disturbing my my streets yeah or it's or it's like that it's it's a uh, vindication for all those uh white guys that always talk about like this white discrimination so it's like that they find that one one guy in africa one white guy in africa that actually gets uh, discriminated against and make a movie about his life <laughs> i don't know but the the movie's kind of cool it's like i part of the reason i haven't finished it because it's fucking two and a half hours but uh there is some as far as the futuristic stuff they show it, a lot of kind of carries over or like they have they have uh, driverless cars right and actually the design of the cars i feel like that's something that movies get uh Either it's the same people designing them later in the future, or like they, they I don't know. Oh, they actually, it's the same thing the, that the happened cars with actually them. look similar to what we end up yeah. seeing eventually. But yeah, but they have their driverless cars. They have uh, you know the um, all this like voice activated shit. He comes into his apartment and the lights automatically turn on, and you know the music goes and whatever, uh, touch screens and all this shit. There's something else. There's one more thing that I was thinking, but yeah. Can you guys think of any other? I have a hot take on um, driverless cars. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Tesla, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Elon Musk, when he created it, he was like, yeah, I'm going to create a car that will save a lot of lives. So I'm that, sure that's what he was yeah, thinking. Sure yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> All right, this, let's assume for the, that's for what the he, benefit of the doubt. Of course, you know, sure. For the sake of the argument, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna save a lot of lives, 
and I'm going to create this driverless car so that even though the driver is asleep or something, yeah. uh, the, the car knows how to drive and that will save a life, mm -hmm. you know? And he did not consider um, drive-bys because <laughs> now motherfuckers have two free hands, <laughs> <laughs> two guns, okay? <laughs> That's twice. Yeah. That's twice. Twice the firepower. Twice the firepower. Okay, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was going to be so the next, like, entry into the competition of the stupidest things you can say but that's actually quite funny <laughs> it's pretty funny yeah. you can hold a grenade up in that bitch like you yeah. can do whatever you can uh, yeah <laughs> prostitutes holy shit man you're driving by the highway it's traffic hey yeah. no problem I don't think most most gangs can afford Teslas, <laughs> especially multiples. But yeah, I mean that's eventually. Eventually, eventually we have, maybe we'll eventually they get there. They already made that joke in um, in Weeds, the TV series. Do you know the TV series no. Weeds? It's about a mom. Her husband dies, so she starts selling weed to make money, and then she starts selling more and more weed. But basically, no. <clears throat> at the beginning, she's buying from this like black family. Of course, they're black, right? They're selling weed. Well, yeah, they and, live uh, in, like, central yeah. Los Angeles, I guess, or something. Yeah. Uh, and, like, they have the cool old dealer mom and the young gangster son, right? Yeah. Obviously, black archetypes. But basically, <laughs> the son drives a Prius. And she's like, what the fuck? You drive a Prius? He's like, yeah, it's quiet. It's good for sneaking up on motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, it's Tyrone. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Imagine being gunned down in LA <laughs> and your drive by had a zero carbon footprint. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very eco friendly yeah, yeah. murderer. That's very nice. Um, do burning humans release uh, make any defects to the ozone layer? Oh, yeah. Cremation is, is pretty horrible, I think, for the environment. Um, is it but uh, but so are cemeteries i mean cemeteries are just a fucking just so awful just awful just eat it in general what what why well, I, I mean i think cremation is <laughs> what still did you just say Dave? Just, just eat, eat it, it yeah. yeah 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 i mean to what the land it to makes the, sense to i guess nature. but but i mean you don't want to eat old dead people like if you're gonna eat you might as well eat the youngins first <laughs> no i'm saying like, eagles in some cultures, they either get, leave it for eagles to eat the... Oh, uh, yeah, they just human. leave it out in the wild. Exactly, yeah, sure. or wolves. Yeah. Um, Puerto Ricans. <laughs> I'm joking now. I'm being racist now for no reason. The, but that's, yeah. I, don't, I like I that you came up know. with Puerto Ricans. For I don't some, know. Just, like, <laughs> is that a stereotype that you have in Saudi <laughs> Arabia? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know the Puerto Ricans? <laughs> Cannibals. Cannibals. Insanity. What are Cannibals. they doing? Astaghfirullah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met uh, Puerto Rican Abdullah? Abdullah <laughs> 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 Yeah. But yeah. No, no, that makes it. I mean, thing that probably makes the most sense. Just leave it out in the or wild. Or you can throw it in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like Osama. Exactly. I, I mean, I guess if you kept doing that in some some that would be kind of you eventually have a pile of dead bodies, of dead bodies. on the <laughs> coast is just like peeking out. Hey, you, <laughs> hey, you can still see grandma. <laughs> From, she's floating over there. The dead but body no, yeah. island. Yeah. But yeah, like anything, like any kind of compost or something. Mm. But people just, it would have to like, t it would take a whole cultural shift for that to work, right? For people to accept that the, I don't know, that they're, they already say like, oh, it's, they're being worm food. My my grandma's worm food. Or it's like, I don't know. They may, aren't, aren't caskets supposed to, like stop the decomposition no, or something? No, that would be awful. What is the function of caskets? I know, but they make them out of like really solid materials, like solid wood and stuff. So it takes fucking ages for them to fall apart, right? So I'm saying like there's not actually insects or whatever going that up come inside into there. The casket. Yeah, we not. don't have caskets in Islam. Yeah. You just wrap, wrap the body in, a sheet or in like... Uh, oh, okay. In a, in a... Flies <laughs> away itself. In a, in a white In a white cloth. Yeah. And you're just like a falafel. And you just... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Bessos. 
and you just yeah you just leave the body in the in the ground and it will get decomposed sure. now it's a, they you do say bury it yeah yeah we do actually mm -hmm. bury it they do say that if you get to uh, unbury the body and see if how much it got decomposed it depends on how fast it got decomposed that's whether or not you're in hell or heaven that's so crazy so oh if, if you have been decomposed within two hours like really fast and you're already a skeleton that means you have been frying that means bro. you're in hell yeah. you have been getting you know whatever it's being in hell yeah, yeah devouring so wait, if you're well preserved that means you're or the a good vice guy? versa i'm not sure oh, okay, okay. one of the one of the one of the because like in a dry here. climate it's probably gonna take longer right i don't yeah. know then, then again, I feel like the desert, if it's somewhere in like, I don't know. I don't know what it is like in, in Muslim countries, but here it's a whole fucking racket, first of all. And that's yeah. true for the U.S. as well. I mean, it's just, it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. And like part of the reason is probably that things aren't changed is because it's such a good business. So I don't know what's going to happen to me when I die. I don't think there's room in my family grave anymore, so I might have to... Oh, is it? <laughs> Wait, it doesn't max out at one point. Can they dig deeper? I don't know. It it does max out at a certain point. I I mean, they can only dig so deep. I'm sure there's regulations or whatever. And obviously, eventually, like there's n probably nothing there. But I don't know how that. What shit if you works. discover oil or something? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I think you'd have to dig a lot deeper than that. That would be pretty funny, though. Do you know how the Vikings, they used to always, like, whenever there's a lord or a king that dies, they bury him with all of his treasures and everything. Oh, they did? I thought they burned stuff. But or okay. in some of the other cultures. I have no idea. Like, yeah. they would bury this the person with their belongings yeah, and yeah. their treasuries. Yeah. Sure, the Egyptians uh, or something. In the Gulf, they just put him in a, in a pit of oil. <laughs> Because that's all the treasure. Do, do they really? You no. Know, okay. That would be <laughs> <laughs> they do. That sounds, that would have been that sounds terrible. Such a waste of oil, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, of course. Of course. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it would be cool. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> would be cool. What, what are our riches going to be in a, in, a, in a while when everything is like digital? They're just going to bury you with a thumb drive? You can't, you can't get buried with your NFTs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just printed out screenshots and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Screenshots of the group chat. Yeah. Nah, I don't get this coat of the meat bag, bro. Just like... What? Just this coat of the, like... Oh, the meat to, bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, oh, let's yeah I mean, hide like... Hide the body. And I really don't it, care, right? It. It's like some squirrel shit. Once I'm dead... <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you talking about, man? That's what squirrels do. They hide nuts in the ground. They go back. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't. You can't. I don't know. You can't hide idea. the person. In. That would be cool, though, if the squirrels are, were actually necrophilic. <laughs> squirrels are wild, man. Yeah, thank God the squirrels are actually tiny. If they are big, they would be called <laughs> kangaroos. That's what I'm As I heard, like squirrels can actually eat uh, meat. They can eat rats, yeah. eat pigeons. Really? Yeah, I guess Vicious. they do. Also, there's l there's a bunch of different squirrels, right? Some of them are, are pretty big, I think. Mm. In but Poland, I, I it was the first time I I saw a squirrel. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I never met. No, a squirrel. in Poland they're they're pretty small, but yeah. I, I imagine in North America they gotta have some kind of big ass redneck squirrel. <laughs> That's just like where it weighs like fifty pounds. <laughs> Play on a banjo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like scaring coyotes away. And shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Get out of my goddamn tree, son of a bitch! <laughs> I tell you, get down my goddamn property. <laughs> I've been wondering where my nuts been. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching this documentary. It's called Thirteenth. Uh, uh -huh. on netflix it talks about about um, the 13th amendment yeah yeah, 13th yeah. amendment and uh, the how african-americans have been incarcerated um they have incarcerated been yeah. in, no incarcerated okay yeah it's, they mm -hmm. get <laughs> that's they, they get turned into cigarettes as well <laughs> no. what what happens no it's <laughs> 
They use them to make filters. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck are you talking about? No, incarcerated is when it's you generational. You're incarcerated, but you're still in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the worst kind of fucking karma. It's the worst because it's generational trauma, you yeah. see? Yeah. Yeah, you get it reincarnated. Oh. Yeah. Immediately so. back to cell block number nine. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, well, it's fucked up. W w were you heading towards a point or something? Or are you just trying to make... Yeah, it's just that uh, I, I realized that we can use in cars... Like, white people have really been messing up in the US. I oh, yeah, yeah. Really, they did <laughs> mess up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like... But it's 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 uh, kind of crazy when you discover it, right? When you first yeah. discover it. It's, I'm like, wow. It's amazing, like how uh how racist america really is it is really is one of the most racist countries that i can think of yeah it's like you dave know. Chappelle in his bit he was like oh <laughs> apparently the police was uh, you know arresting arresting black people like pop tarts <laughs> what did he really say that <laughs> no, no, no. There's no he said uh beaten up and words like hot cakes oh like hot yeah. cakes yeah yeah, and so some people <laughs> arrest people like pop tarts <laughs> <laughs> because as you do, Just you waiting, arrest pop tarts. Waiting till they pop out of the toast, uh, toaster and then you grab you tart them. Tart it yeah. away, yeah. You throw it away. They're I mean, that's what pop tarts are really good for. They're really not good for eating, but they. I've are. never had a pop tart. Is it like very American? It's very American, yeah, in the sense that it like it looks better than it tastes. I would argue, yeah. yeah. Is that the epitome of America? It looks great, but I think so. in reality, it it's... It. What looks good about it? It's, no, the U.S. It has good, amazing. It has good marketing, though. It has good marketing. All what, the, the Pop-Tarts? Are you talking about uh, Pop-Tarts? or American. I'm talking... Yeah. What's, what's I think Americans really not think, but this is a fact. They really did ruin the majestic land that the natives were in. There was fountains, green. Yeah, it was just people bison's. running around, unicorns and shit. Loincoffs. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just <laughs> feeling the moment, man. Yeah. Sometimes they would kill each other, but hey. Yeah, and br brutally rape, sodomize, and uh, enslave Hashtag each other. Positive vibes only. <laughs> only exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they would enslave each other for generations, but you know, you apart know. from that, they would yeah. sing songs and pick flowers. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, it's kind of funny, like some people don't, uh, you know, they kind of treat slavery as a, as like a thing of the past. And then they don't, they don't literally don't know that slavery is still legal it's in the still US. Going yeah, on, yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Back if home, you we want don't do that. cheap labor. What? Back home, we don't do that. In Syria, if you smoke weed, death. Yeah, no, no, no problems there. Just immediately, <laughs> no need to worry about prisoners. Yeah, you rights. don't have to. You just execute them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, we got no amnesty fuck, uh, international no. coming into our shit because no like, trial, and nothing, yeah. bro. On the spot, <laughs> red-handed. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, you're you're smoking that joint with the prophets. Yeah. The next thing. thing is that's American influence as well. It's just you have to fucking take everything too far as well. But the actual fact that drugs are illegal in your country is probably an American influence, like it is in every country. Might be. Or Russian what? influence. That's I don't not know. True. What What's about? not true? What's, not, What's true? not true? You're saying the Americans caused... Uh, drugs to be illegal in most countries in, in the world. Yes. In fact, one man only. What, one really? man did well, it. Well, no. They, they, uh, sure, they had a big influence like in this, <clears throat> what, the 60s, 70s, right? No. Or wh whenever... Are started you talking about the, the first... the 30s and 40s. Okay, you're talking about that. Okay. the DEA. Like, they took... But weed was still kind of cool in the 60s in the US. That's what yeah, I'm saying. It's like it wasn't really criminalized until the 70s. But everything got banned for the same single reason. Like the Oh same, yeah. yeah. Is it after the FDA or FFA or DDA or <laughs> BBC <laughs> whatever these the fucking Lambda. anonyms acronyms stand for? Yeah. <laughs> is it after <laughs> they, they <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it after they done uh, uh, these experiments and stuff? What experiments? Like experiments on the weed, and they were like nobody did experiments on the weed. <laughs> really? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, but they had. Why did they uh, illegalize? Just answer it? his question. What Come is on, this question? Why do, why do they illegalize it? What drugs? The w the weed. The weed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the weeds. Just a side note, but basically, <clears throat> after they were done with prohibition, where they realized you can't 
outlaw something that everybody uses because then you just push the production and distribution and all the profits into hands of the gangsters and create some of the most powerful uh, and richest men in the United States. So when they failed with that, they thought, oh, maybe we should do it with drugs. Uh, exactly the same thing. That would make sense. Does not, does it? Not mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I don't remember the whole but story. It but <laughs> what worked? It worked in what worked? empowering uh, Mexican cartels? Or, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What worked? I mean, they still need demobilizations in different countries and stuff. What? So that's one of the things that they can demobilize another country by creating, um, by criminalizing it yeah. and leaving others to do the job for you, technically. Yeah, but I don't know, actually, the, I'm just going to ignore what you're saying because I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done that 10 minutes ago, bro. <laughs> so, so, but yeah, but like, I'm I'm try, still trying to follow Dave's uh, point that, that the Amer obviously the Americans have influence internationally, but like in what you're saying, I don't know Saudi Arabia or or fucking Thailand even or anybody Thailand, else that yes. that has crazy yep. uh, drug laws. How did that happen? I've no. because America bullied them into it. They said they would re remove all the aid and the like. So basically, oh, okay. yeah, I could see that. I guess the so it was one guy it really started with Henry Anslinger right he set up the DEA he got like he married well and he got money from his father-in-law who was in the Ministry of Finance to mm. set up this this governmental office and start basically what they did is they took anecdotal yeah. stories about how drugs are evil basically the whole premise wasn't even like harm reduction it wasn't even necessarily like oh drugs are bad they they make you unhealthy they make you this they make you that the, the majority of the premise was they make blacks and mexicans forget their place <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, so yeah that was the sub premise we subver like, subversive, yeah, yeah like it makes the blacks forget the place and try and hit on white women dance with white women <laughs> it, uh, the, when the chinese immigration I mean, was coming yeah. He said um, they they want to bring over the opium smoking culture to make an army of zombies, basically, uh, yeah. like at the communist service, you know, for a hit of opium. Which was sure. totally admitted, engineered by the British, by the way, which yeah. is fucking hilarious, yeah. right? It's like, uh, so basically any but, like political problem slash counterculture slash subculture there was, his answer was ban drugs. Yeah. Black people play music too loud, ban weed. <laughs> Chinese coming over, ban opium. Yeah. And then they would push it on every single country. They do have a lot of uh, influence. It's insane how much power that the DA has in like Latin America. They just fucking come down there and they'll yeah. like they do, do whatever, whatever they want. They, they confiscate the uh, drug lord bunny and shit like, like it was their government. It's insane. I don't understand it. I mean, I understand how it happened eventually. But it's still crazy to me. I can't. So they took a place like there was a there was a bunch of people addicted to heroin. In 1914, they decriminalized cocaine and they decriminalized heroin, and they effectively pushed the distribution into the hands of the gangsters. So now a dose of morphine, like uh, a dose of opiates, wouldn't yeah. cost two to three cents in the pharmacy; it would cost a dollar. So now you've created criminality that is you know producing and distributing this drug at horrendous prices and now you're creating criminality in the people that now need to go steal and prostitute to pay for it yeah. so the war on drugs basically creates yeah. both of those ways of criminality there's no criminality linked to drug use before the war on drugs yeah well it yeah. was just a thing in the pharmacy all right, right. Now I'm learning stuff. That's way too much. I don't want to fucking be learning. <laughs> be learning in this podcast. Okay, so did you know that in Chinatown, any Chinatown, you go there, there's vagina ducks? Ducks? No, sorry. Ducks' is vaginas. Yeah. Vagina ducks. <laughs> ducks that just have vaginas all over. Instead of... <laughs> inst Instead of wings. It's Instead just of like bills and stuff. Instead of their beaks, they have vaginas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've heard about this. Uh, I think it's... Th honestly, the first time I heard about it was probably from the Louis C.K. bit. I've never fucking tried to buy them or tr eat them, so mm. I have no clue. But yeah. 
I get. I mean, I'm not surprised they just use every single fucking part of the buck, just the duck, just the same way Americans use like every single part of the pig or whatever. Yeah. What? what, what did you have a story with this? Are you? Are you were trying to? You're trying to blow my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Listen, baby, duck, check this out. You know, they have like, uh, I don't know, 17 vaginas or some shit. Their vagina is a maze. The ducks, you see. Oh, wait. You're, okay, now you're actually... Ta- uh, yeah, it's not sure. I've been watching a lot of National Geographic, man. Shit. It's killing me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally... I haven't been outside to the outside world in like three days. Yeah. I only came out just for this podcast. Okay. I'm going to go cocoon back. Yeah, same here. In probably. My, I mean, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I probably need to go do some shopping, but I... Any, any day before the <laughs> hyenas actually sorry to interrupt yeah you're very important information no it's not um hyenas their vaginas are dicks what so they have a tube, so you're saying they're her- a tube of vagina or? it's like the the the, the male superior so if you want to fuck a, a, a hyena, just in case, <laughs> we're all of the hyena enthusiasts out there. Yeah. It actually actually has like a flaccid tube. Okay. Uh, that, uh, yeah, this is just to show their dominance over the guy. Which really, I do believe, if hyenas were the, so. the superior species, uh-huh. this would be the way. You don't need guys. Um, you just need flaccid. It's just women need to create <laughs> flaccid wait, penises. Wait, wait, hold on a second. They're still they're mammals. They still uh, m- multiply through sex and penetration or whatever, right? There's still eggs and sperm and all this shit, right? So what are you? I'm fucking. Fu- don't look at me. I'm like confused. I'm an expert. This guy started it. Yeah, I don't think he knows. Do, do you just wake up every like fifteen minutes and hear one random fact and go back, <laughs> go, back go back to back sleep? To sleep. <laughs> well, hyenas do have <laughs> a flaccid <laughs> tube vagina. Okay, okay, back to all right, sleep, all right. guys. I'm just wondering about the yeah. Now you got me fucking thinking about hyena an- anatomy. That's another subject I don't. Do you know how do snakes fuck? <laughs> They reproduce spontaneously. I hope the rest of the the next twenty minutes is just going to be you spouting random animal facts. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, snakes can can be hermaphrodites. That I do know, right? So technically, wait, can they reproduce with themselves? Is that how? Yeah, they have both male they do, and female genitalia. Right. Yeah. That's why somebody you don't trust, you call a snake. You call him a snake. Yeah. Oh, that, wait, that's, that's some, why. Literally, go fuck themselves. That's what I know. <laughs> yeah, I watch The Sopranos too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's fucking Paulie Gaultier yeah. knowledge right there. <laughs> so you can't trust the fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> I love that our n- knowledge of nature is from like uh, <laughs> from Sopranos. Sopranos. Sopranos and Louis C.K. bits. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah. Did you guys watch? Uh, speaking of uh, Louis, did you guys watch uh, his new, new special, special or the no. bit from the? I watched the like the six minute thing that he. What is it? It's a bit about um, about Goodwill Hunting, the movie with uh, Matt Damon. That movie's twenty five fucking years. I old. know. It's it's the the funny thing is he's talking about. I think it's a really funny bit, and obviously it's like six minutes, so he makes it his own. But it's like he's making fun of uh, the movie itself, and like that Matt Damon wrote it, so he wrote all the lines. How like he how cool he is and like yeah. how he plays a working class genius you know he's like oh i'm gonna be a fucking genius but not like those dumbass fucking uh, you know faggot whatever he says uh <laughs> harvard geniuses i'm like real from the streets blue collar whatever <laughs> and then there's this whole scene where he sort of like humiliates this guy that's like hitting on this girl whatever and then he <laughs> and then he uh, they're sitting in a cafe and he comes up to the guy and he's shows him the girl's number that he got the girl's number yeah and he starts it by going like hey you like apples and the guy goes yeah he goes how you like them apples and he puts the phone number to the to the window to the windshield or the window (laughs) and his whole his whole premise is like the he wrote that fucking scene like that would never happen like the whole scene is based on him on the guy saying yes to the question do you like apples (laughs) 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 like (laughs) <laughs> and is that where it comes from? 
uh what the, the, the expression like, oh no no it's just it's just an old it's oh. just an old expression like yeah that that a probably a boston guy would maybe say or something like it's an old expression i think i don't even know where the fuck it comes from Such a weird but expression. it's a dumbass yeah. scene is it it's derogatory like really stupid no how you like them apples is just i think it's just like how you like me now or like how do you like this What's it's apples? just an expression it's just a fucking americans man it's just to unemphasize it like hey look at this you fuck <laughs> that's all yeah. fuck. It's, it's not even that i don't think fuck. it's a, it's green not meant, apples yeah it's not meant to be like vulgar or anything I, I think. he's like how do you like this like aren't you surprised or something yeah. like this and the weird thing is like i i had seen that scene even recently because it's on youtube and he's talking about watching it on youtube louis ck is and you go to the scene on youtube and there's like comments from like seven years ago <laughs> people observing the same thing he's doing it's like <laughs> You know, the whole scene is based on him saying yes to like they it, people writing the exact same premise, you know. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. I don't know. It, it's doing comedy in the internet age, but especially, it's still funny, I guess. I don't yeah, know. especially that. I'm not going to watch the special. I don't think. But yeah. in the quarantine, especially during the quarantine, people used to now watch old stuff. Yeah. So now everything in the 90s, 80s, whatever you call it, it's relevant. Still yeah, now because I'm, it's the norm so. now to actually watch whenever right. you're in quarantine. You got to spend what two weeks in the house alone. I suppose you're just gonna go reminisce and yeah. go look into the old videos and the movies, and that's gonna be relevant too. I guess so. Yeah, a certain part, at least a certain part. That, that movie specifically, I think, is just like so, so many people have seen because it was a I don't know if it was just Oscar nominated or, or they yeah, won an so. Oscar for best movie or screenplay whatever and it was like uh Rob, robin new, williams was in that shit and have you seen the new dicaprio movie on that oh yeah don't look up yeah yeah i'm, I'm about it. to watch it probably i i don't know i i don't i'm very hesitant have you seen it yeah i've is seen it, it good it's good i'm very hesitant about movies funny, with like man. a crazy cast it's that funny. has like so high yeah. budget cast because i'm like somebody it seems like they're trying to sell me a movie that somebody doesn't believe in because if they put all those stars in there but yeah it's directed and written by adam mckay who's mm -hmm. who's fucking good so hopefully it's good yeah it's really nice he wrote the the big short have you guys seen that yes. one yeah the big what the big short about the 2008 uh economic you know uh collapse with steve carell and stuff it's about the people that like for predicted it or saw it coming basically i just told you what the everything you need to know about the movie you're not gonna google's not gonna whatever tell you. your information was is <laughs> irrelevant <laughs> <laughs> better just took 15 seconds to type in the big short in the google and now we could see that it was made in 2015 but yeah, it has some good characters in there too as well fucking christian bale does a good job and oh yeah this guy Ryan oh Gosling. okay okay i know it's, it's funny yeah, it's like based on real people, but sort of fictionalized. Um, I realized too recently uh, why some people actually hate um, minty chocolate. <laughs> oh, yeah? Do you think there's a specific reason? Yeah, because uh, when someone doesn't like minty chocolate, it's because they'll be like, oh, this tastes like toothpaste hmm. or this tastes like gum. Yeah. Think about it. Everything that was minty, like toothpaste or gum, you're not meant to swallow. Hmm. So you just chew or whatever and you just spit it out. Your body is not supposed to consume it that way. So imagine what about, like, imagine a gum flavored, mm -hmm. um, a chocolate flavored gum. Oh my God, washing up liquid. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy liquid. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> Fuck. Chocolate? You're, not gonna, you're never going to have... The, what are you, chewing on chocolate? Or are you chewing on beef? Okay, you can't... You can't have Sometimes if it's cordon really bleu <laughs> flavored gum or toothpaste. You're not going to have that. You're not yeah. supposed to swallow it. <laughs> okay. I think those two flavors don't really go together, period. But I guess there's a point what? there. Off the rates are sick, man. What the fuck is No, there's, I, I don't really have a problem with them. But I wouldn't like... If someone gives me one, I'll eat it. But I'll never like buy it of my own uh, accord. Volitions. Yeah. Um, but there's like mint candies that you... I mean, you swallow, the th you yeah, suck on them until with you... With the candy, you already know subconsciously that the candy is already bad for your health. <laughs> so you're like, kind of like, like, fuck. I love how you keep trying to rationalize this into, <laughs> into like a coherent system. I'm telling no, you. No, you got to understand, man. 
I'm really convinced that if I can go back at the right time, at the right place, a lot of people will actually believe what I'm saying. And like will yeah. take me as a like a, a leader <laughs> figure. Nobody would ever <laughs> and, and it's just because they can't go on the internet. Just or based Google. on your an analysis of mint yeah, chocolate, they can't fact they'll check be like, me. This guy's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> we have to follow him now. <laughs> I don't know when they even came up with it. Wh when would be the first time they combined mint and chocolate? It'd have to be like the twentieth, the nineteenth century at the le at the earliest, right? Right before World War One started. Yeah. Right before it, the the general whoever ate World War One, yeah. and it was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna go assassinate the motherfucker." That's how it started. Oh, just from eating the <laughs> mint chocolate, <laughs> he got pissed mint. so pissed off that he wanted to start a war. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's what's another flavor that you guys don't? You like sweet and salty together? Yeah, sweet and sour. Yeah. Is that so sweet like, and sour? I said sweet and salty. I, oh, I, so I was about to get. I have a whole segment <laughs> plan. <laughs> sweet don't, and sour, sweet and don't salty. Don't rush me. We're sweet. getting to sweet and sour. Sweet <laughs> first, sweet and salty. <laughs> so you like chocolate covered pretzels or whatever? Yeah, I tried for the first time. I tried a bread pudding. Oh shit. I'm What's that? I don't think it's I've bread in a pudding. It's just like raw bread. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah, raw, it's like raw bread. Yeah. You cut the bread, right? And then you make your pudding. Okay, you bake it into. You yeah, you bake it with the pudding. Yeah, until it wow. dissolves again, basically. Kinda, but it remains like crusty, and some of it okay, like yeah. remains mushy. So you're eating the sweet bread. Right. It makes See, I can't get with all this peasant food, like the <laughs> Polish Christmas. Like, why the fuck would I eat something poor people 500 years ago had to eat? No, isn't bread pudding? True. That makes me think of strictly a UK thing. No? Carp. Fuck yeah, that. that's fucking weird. But okay, that's what do you think? Carp? But that's from the 70s. Did you, know? you eat carp? Did I eat carp? Yes, I, I ate a lot you of did? carbs. Peasant, man. I, <laughs> no, what do you think carp, the most the ideal Christmas dinner now for this age? Or this era. What's the need for it? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I kind of like the American style thing. It's like turkey and fucking lots of calorie laden foods. And they kind of eat the same thing they do for Thanksgiving. Just with more, I don't know, more sweets. That would make sense. I'm trying to think what I, I, I almost eat none of the foods that I used to. Like we would eat. Uh, herring with fucking onions and, and oil or whatever. I don't usually eat that anymore. Carp, I don't like. I'll eat fried fish with like um, with vegetables. Or what's it called? Well, just like white fish. Mm. I mean, that's always good. But the 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 other shit, I don't care. Did you the, have you ever had the sawatka yajnova? That's like uh, it's like chopped uh. Egg, potato, peas, and carrots, basically. Oh, yeah, mostly definitely. And celery. Yeah, with mayonnaise. Definitely. <laughs> Do you, you like, like it? that shit? It's, it's Polish. It's nice. <laughs> it's, it's Polish. Polish. It's, it's nice. nice. Don't worry. We won't be offended. I don't we give a shit. No, no. no it's, it's We won't nice. tell anyone. I think it's okay. I like yeah. mayonnaise. I don't like eating too much of it, so I actually don't eat it during the year that much. Mm. Hey, bigos. Oh, yeah. I forgot about bigos. See, that's it's kind of a hassle to make, but it's pretty mm. good. I mean, that's that's one thing that's like, you can make that so many different ways. I feel like as many households as there are, there's just like as many recipes. Yeah, compote. I went compote. for a walk on Christmas and there was a, what's it called? An obituary, right? With yeah. a, the advert that yeah, someone yeah. died. You know, that Polish people <laughs> stick on that. Someone someone died. Died. That Hyping up their death, yeah. <laughs> Hyping up their death. And the woman's <laughs> name was Eugenia Bigos. Oh shit! No way. Surname Bigos. Classic, yeah. Yeah, Eugenia is a very like movie. classic, like old lady name as well. Yeah, sitcom name, Eugenia Bigos. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. How did surname surnames are funny? The I I From always jobs, wonder like right? how did surnames actually come to happen? Like was it like a one year that they were like every single person needs to sign up? <laughs> to write their surname for their grandchildren and grand yeah. grand grandchildren. No, I think yeah, like Dave said, I think you had to do something with profession initially. And then if maybe if you didn't have a profession, they just give your <laughs> your defining trait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're like the the special one in the village, they fucking make up a name for you. Yeah, what if you were unemployed? Dummy. 
Dumb, dumb Williamson. Uh, if you're, yeah. I guess that that wasn't really a thing back back in the day, right? Everybody had to do something. Did they have a different Your surname? Your existence wasn't maybe based on money as much. Mm, okay, that would make sense. Oh, you're saying if somebody in the family is unemployed, they they get a, they get a different name. They're <laughs> disenfranchised. <laughs> no, no, they just call you a disappointment to the family the whole time. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that's we're called true. Smiths. You're supposed to be smelting things. Smith. No more fun animal facts, Peter. <laughs> well, actually, I do. All right, give um, me one more. Give me one they more. They found a pigeon that had a backpack. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard about this. this premise of of like ecstasy pills. And yeah, stuff. was it an actual did you, joke? Did but, you really see this on TV? No, yeah, it's real, not on but TV, Carol but Coppins I saw it. A joke about it. Oh. Yeah, I saw it on the internet. Oh okay, okay. <laughs> I wonder if it's. I never. I never double checked if it's a true story. I think it's a true story. That's amazing. A pigeon somebody taught a pigeon well not taught i think i don't know i still don't know do you guys know how pigeon post works i have no idea because i think the the thing is they just always come back to their nest basically oh yeah it got something to do with the magnetic field something probably like they always will return to that certain point but then how do they get them to fucking deliver the parcel to the correct place like you know I mean? Oh no! So they 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 oh, have the pigeons. He has a theory. Yeah, yeah. The theory. <laughs> pigeons don't make stops. They can only go back to the thing. <laughs> exactly. They take them away. They load them up, and then they let them go back. They don't make stops over the way. Well, not stops, let me but go like, to fucking the small. <laughs> the pigeon find the right house number. <laughs> Bing bong. No, no, but don't they? Yeah. What don't, if the houses don't have numbers? They have names. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> but don't they go from A to B and back? No, they just go from anywhere to A. They only have A. Oh. <laughs> they can take them anywhere, but they always go back to A. Well, then how do they deliver posts then? I don't get like, it. They only take it back to A. <laughs> That's fucking stupid then. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, you're gonna make the pigeon read the fucking envelope. What's wrong with you, cuz? <laughs> you would have an interphone that just rings the like, yeah. And you're like, oh, who's that? <laughs> 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 oh, there's the pigeon. I can't read the fucking address, you fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a six or a nine. <laughs>